Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tegan, and if you don't know, I am a freshman here at NYU studying childhood education in Steinhardt. Um, and so if you haven't guessed already by the title, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how to do laundry here at NYU, specifically Lipton Hall. But the process should still be the same for any other dorm hall here at NYU. Um, but if not, I also included some tips and tricks if you are a college student like me or a first time laundry doer um, yourself. Um, and so I will include a list of tips and tools and hacks that I use to do my laundry. And I'll try to link everything in the video down below in the description. So if you happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the tutorial on how to do laundry here at NYU. And don't mind all the different um, wardrobe changes because I literally filmed parts of this video in over the course of so many weeks. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Now let's get to the video. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna do a quick intro. Uh, and so like many college students, I was guilty of not knowing how to do laundry before I got to college. And so my first time doing laundry alone, like for the first time, was the first week of college. And you know, your, your family is not there to help you. And I was so scared, but everything turned out fine. So with that being said, let's talk about the app that you use to do laundry, specifically at MOU dorms. Um, so what you need is the Hercules app and I will show you later on in the video um, as I'm doing it, but uh, this is what the Hercules app looks like. If you just search that up in the app store, that's what you need to download before anything. And so in that app, it is $1 for each cycle. So that means $1 for washing and $1 for drying. And if you have more than one load, then it's obviously more than $1. When you first get into the app, you can sign up using any email. It doesn't have to be your NYU email, but any email so that you can just log in and a password that you can create. So because it is time consuming, um, I usually try to set aside time that I am free, at least max two hours of free time that I have. Um, so if anything, I try to do it on a weekend, even though a lot of people do their laundry on a weekend, but I am the most free on a weekend. And so I usually do it on a Saturday morning just to get it over with and I have clean clothes for the rest of the week. Um, but if I'm running late or forget to do it on a Saturday, then I usually just do it whenever I am free after class um, on a morning. Morning and late nights obviously are more empty in the laundry room. And so there are more chances that you'll have a free machine. Yeah, just make sure you have time in your schedule to to work on it. You need at least two hours, um, like I said, because the laundry takes roughly an hour and 40 minutes, but you may have to account for wait time, such as, you know, people not emptying out their laundry machines yet, or, you know, anything might happen. So just maybe account for two hours um, of your time to do that. So now I'm gonna talk about some of the things I use to do my laundry. This is my laundry basket hamper whatever you want to call it. So I, I got this at TJ Maxx and it's so cute. It has this laundry written on it, obviously for my laundry. And it has wheels, which makes it really convenient for just bringing my laundry up and down into the basement. And on the side, I have attached a little pouch, just random thing from my house. <laughs> I've attached it with a carabiner and I've just, this is where I put my Tide Pods in. And as you can see, I'm empty, but we're just gonna refill that. It can fit up to three, so I just refill three whenever I'm out. And the last one. Yeah. So there I have my Tide Pods. And so when I go downstairs, I don't have to bring a whole bag of Tide Pods. I can just have one to put in to the machine. Um, we turn to the other side. I also attached for me a cheat sheet for myself 
because I did not know how to do laundry before I got to college. And so I had to make sure I knew what each symbol on my tags meant and to make sure I don't ruin any of my material for my clothing. And so we have just, you know, the classic cheat sheet that you can find on Google and we just printed it out and laminated it. This is what it looks like inside. And so in TJ Maxx, they d it did not come with this actually. So we put in a pillowcase, little DIY moment, but we put in a pillowcase so that I can divide my clothes into lights and darks. Another thing that I recommend getting is a laundry bag if you want. For preference, I like my hamper with wheels, but I also got this laundry bag and it's compactable, so that's why it's folded up. This laundry bag from Amazon and it can fit, I think, up to three to five loads, something like that. So basically, I can't even show how big it is on the camera because it is really big. Anyway, so you get the point that the backpack is just really big and convenient for big loads. Maybe if you want to put your bed sheets or comforters in there, this is a good idea because you can fit all of it as well as your clothes and carry it like a backpack um, to do laundry. This one is definitely good to use if you just want to put it on, strap it on like a regular backpack and head to the laundry room or whatever. For costumes, I definitely would recommend getting this. Um, just it, it makes it easier to do laundry because it is convenient. You can carry everything. Um, but personally, I do like using my hamper. Um, okay, so the next thing that I recommend getting is this Tide to Go Tide Pen. And so basically, if you are a messy eater like me and you get stains all over your clothes, you are going to need this. Get a few, put this in every one of your bags, bring it everywhere you go. This is laundry detergent on the go. And so basically it's like a pen or highlighter and you just rub the pen over the stain and it goes away very quickly. So this is good for convenience because it's small, you can put it in your pocket, your bag, your jacket, whatever. It's your magical tool and it will help very much. So you can get this at Target, Amazon, anywhere. But yes, this is definitely one of the things that I recommend having. I'm just gonna show you what my hang dryer thing looks like. And it's actually foldable, so when I'm ready for my clothes, I just put my clothes on top of these racks so that it does not ruin the clothes that need to be hang dried. You can put it over your closet rack, or your door, your um, bed too, but wherever you want, it's foldable and adjustable. So it also saves space when you don't want any clothes on there anyways. Okay, let's go. Oh, yay, no one's in here, yay. So this is the laundry room, guys. I'm sure you've seen it from my other videos, but welcome to the laundry room. And so we're gonna start with the washing machines, which are on, at Lipton, the washing machines are on this side and on that side. The dryers are all in the middle. So we're gonna use these three because they're just all together and I like all my clothes pretty much closer together. And so it's easier to just put it in the dryer. I have a mesh bag that I can put my delicates and other things that might snag my other clothes in. I put it in here and I just throw it in the machine as usual. For me, whenever I finish loading up all my clothes into the machines, I just fold the, the divider section part down so I can use it later when I pick up my clothes from the dryer. Today, I separated my clothes into white colors and blacks and then my comforter. I just take out my Tide Pods and I just throw it in there like so. So you're going to start by looking at Hercules mobile app, which looks like this. And so I'm just going to scan the QR code here. 
And yeah, my phone's in Spanish, so don't worry about that. Okay, so I scan it. And so I'm just gonna select normal and cold because of a few colors and whites and whatever. So I'll just press start. And when I press start, it should sync up to my phone, as you can see. And then it just says, yeah, do you want to pay a dollar for your machine? And then you just say yes. And then it locks. And it's basically telling you have 40 minutes left. And you can basically just go and do your thing as they are watching. So yeah, let's go. And like I said before, once they are locked and all loaded up into your account, then you will get an account from the actual Hercules mobile app when it is time to come back. And like I said, get your clothes. Otherwise, people will be pretty mad at you and will take your clothes out for you. That happened to me one time, and so I learned my lesson. Do not do that. Just come down when the alarm tells you and everything will be good. You don't want to be that person who just doesn't take out their laundry when it's ready. Um, but yeah, like I said before, it also smells if you leave it in too long, so don't do that. But yeah, so now you have 40 minutes to do whatever you want to do, homework, sleep, watch anime. But yeah, you have 40 minutes to do so, and so let's do that. Laundry, it's really like time consuming, so you have to make sure that you make a time for this in your day. Like if you're if you have class in the middle of the day, you shouldn't just be like I'm gonna spontaneously do laundry. If you have at least two hours to spare, then you're good. But if not, just do it later whenever you're free, okay? All right, so I just got my notification <laughs> that my laundry is all ready. And so we're gonna go get it and get the things that need to be hang dried. And then we will put the rest of the stuff in the dryer and then come back up. So like I said, I'm just gonna put all my clothes in the dryer and take out the clothes that need to be hung on the hanging rack. So yeah, let's do that. A little longer than a few minutes later. And using the Hercules app, you just do the same exact process. You select the machine and then you select which cycle for your drying that you want. And again, the dryer is also one dollar for each cycle, and so we're going to do that using the Hercules app. I'm not going to show you that part, but it's the same process. So, I took out all the things that need to be hang dried and put it back into my mesh bag, and then we're going back upstairs because the drying machine takes roughly an hour, but it is definitely done before then, but it gives you an hour to do whatever you need to do, or whatever you want to do. So now I'm back and I'm just gonna hang everything onto my hanging rack. So I have finished hanging all of the clothes that needed to be hang dried. And if I need extra space to hang, I usually just put it on the, the side of my bed. One hour later. Now the hour has passed and I'm going to get my laundry back from the dryer. So I got my laundry from the dryer and then I am going to go upstairs to fold them and that is the end of my journey with laundry. So yeah. All right guys, well, that is the end of today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching how to do laundry here at NYU. And if you have any questions um, regarding NYU, Steinhardt, laundry, um, or anything else, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer and reply to all of them. All right, I hope to see you next time. Bye.